You may use whichever hand you like, yes. <laughs> I love it. You know, I shared with you, I used to be an educator and it, you know, there were so many students that, you know, just wanted to learn and wanted to do things. And then there were, you know, students on the other side who didn't want to do anything. And what I love about being with adults is it's like, if you're showing up, you want to, you want to do the things. Yep. So good. I love it. <laughs> so I'm like, yay, let's, let's, let's move this front part of the tail. Let's like, is this the right way to go forward? Or is this the right way? Which way? Which way? Forward for you. That way is forward. I need to remember this. Thank you. Yeah. Let's, let's keep going this way. Nice. So go ahead and make a target. And you can put all six of the different fun things on there, fabulous things on your target. And then go ahead and instead of, <clears throat> instead of, you know, having a goal be this, you know, like having something that's perfect or having, you know, we, we create smart goals so that we know that we're, if we are achieving them or not, go ahead and put in your target where you think you are now in each one of these areas. Are you like, I am exactly on target where I want to be with fun? Or maybe you're a little bit out and you want to move in more. And this way, it's something that you can measure, but you don't have to feel like it is black or white. It's not, uh, the timer's going off to say to get started. <laughs> um, you know, that it's like, oh, I, you, I reached my goal or I didn't reach my goal. It's like, okay, I got closer to the target. That's good. I like that, right? Finances, friends, faith, friends. family, fitness, and fun. So just go ahead and put a, put a dot there or a star, wherever you think you are. And feel free to use like, you know, the whole two pages. Make a nice big target for yourself. You can use the next page too. You can, use, you can use another page if you'd like to. And I would invite you and encourage you to, to keep this around. Like I said, keep it in your purse, your briefcase, your car, wherever. So you can look at it and go, oh yeah, look, I wanted to have more fun this year. Am I doing that? <laughs> How am I? Am I having fun? And then on the next page, draw another target and you can use the whole two pages. <laughs> well, now I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like for you, the way I think about a target is love is in the middle. I believe we are all here to love, to learn, and to serve, and to serve from that place of love. And when we do that, we can, we can have whatever we want. Be who you were meant to be, and you'll set the world on fire. And as you go through the year, consider thinking about how much am I loving this that I'm doing? Bethany, I'm going to call you out and you don't know this, but <laughs> Bethany often puts on Facebook, I love my life. Like she posts a picture of things she's doing and she's like, I love my life. I love my life. And I love that because it's like, it's, you're just bringing more and more and more of it in. And it's a great practice. So thank you for sharing that. Does any, has anybody ever used targets before instead of goals, like for resolutions or used a target? Does anybody have any questions, anything? Beth, you look perplexed.
Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so now you can think about targets. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to, go ahead. And they can always change. They can. Right. And and have it. You can even have a target for each of. I mean, you, I divided it into six, but you can make six targets, and and you can of course put in there whatever you want. You don't have to use the f words, but you can if you want to, because they're kind of. They kind of provide provide a holistic provide a holistic uh, picture. Did you want to look at those again? No, it just yeah, that F word is in the context of something yeah. else, so I had to remember. Oh, mm -hmm. that's right. Other F words. That's what she meant. Yeah. <laughs> that's what she meant. Yeah. No. Thank you. Okay. So one of the things, uh, the next thing that I'd like to share with you, is about presence. And this is something that I have been. Well, it's a lifetime journey, presence, yeah? And as a photographer, I feel like it has just been brought to my attention so clearly, so clearly. And, and having a woman in my studio, and when I can be present with her and she can be present with me, we can create something that just shows up and shows her, her brilliance, her beauty, her power. So I thought, well, how can we do this in other ways? And I have a couple stories I want to share with you. So some of the women who I have photographed, I shared with you before, you know, they, they start out saying that they don't want to be photographed. They hate being photographed. And I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. And if you've had a photograph with me, I, you know what I do and how I go through the process and really help, help people to become comfortable. Well, I've had women, and I share some of these things in my TED Talk, so if you haven't seen my TED Talk, go ahead and you can look up my uh, 2022 TED Talk. But I'm gonna share some other stories with you today. Uh, I have had women come to me and they're like, I'm not photogenic. I hate to be photographed. I've been photographed professionally and I hate it. I hate it. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> they walk away and they often are like swearing, like holy, you know, whatever. <laughs> I, I can't believe this. They, they are, you know, it's, so that happens. Yeah. When we're present, we're able to acknowledge our gifts and to share our gifts out in the world. And that's what can happen in a photograph. Um, I wanna see, cause I wrote, I wrote down a couple of, I wrote people's names and I'm gonna not use anybody's name. Um, what, <laughs> but there's um, another woman who came to my studio and she was going through cancer treatment and she had didn't look the same way that she always looked. I, I used to do a lot of, um, well, I still do, nonprofit work. And I was photographing women for Hope Lives and she was in tears and just, and interestingly, I think it was just a couple of months ago, she said, Julie, do you remember what a basket case I was? She, you know,